this is fair use. I'm using this uh, particular video for commentary. It's going to be a very short video. I want you to see just how racist this Asian man is because I'm tired of people telling me, oh, you know, Asians are facing racism, this and that. I'm not trying to fucking hear it. Everybody is getting exposed now. Everybody's getting exposed of what the fuck they do to black people. So let's roll the clip. This is the uh, video from a uh, YouTuber who is very um, well known on this platform. I'm using this once again just for commentary purposes, but I want you to hear the dialogue that's taking place here. Okay? Uh, you know what? This is my home. Okay, mine too. Why are you taking pictures Where of me? Live? I live in Scottsdale. Why are you taking pictures of me? Michigan Heights? Yeah. Why are you taking pictures of me? Well, you know what? We've had problems here. I don't care. You don't know me. Why are you well, taking pictures I... of me? And I don't know you. Do you know a lot of white men are doing racist things in this world, sir? No. You don't know that? You're not aware I'm of that? I'm a racist. You are a racist. I'm a racist. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So, so what's, what's your issue? point? Why are you here? Because this is a no-nigger zone. Not really. Oh, is it? Not really, sir. Tell me. There's not a not-nigger. No-nigger zone. I'm here. <laughs> and what I'm about what to do... What the fuck kind of lap is that? I do. I say here. What I'm about to do... Yeah. Me and my friend, we about to record our video. Okay. And you not gonna do a motherfucking thing about it, y'all hear me? That's fine. Let you me, not I'll gonna do what? What do you a wanna hear me say? Thing. I don't wanna hear you say nothing. Oh, I'll tell you what though. You just not gonna do another motherfucking thing, so. Why? As y'all see, you can't keep the camera. Stop yeah. Me from you look evil too. That doesn't mean shit. Evil ass motherfucker. I'm about to record my video. Okay. And this bitch ass nigga not gonna do anything. Okay. And let you try to touch me. Let you try to touch him. Well, I wouldn't touch you. Let, let you, you already disrespecting me. Can you step back a little bit? I feel, oh, I feel yeah, like you're harming. We are six feet. Yeah, no, no, no. I need you to step back. So, don't listen to what I'm saying. Okay. I'm going to lay your bitch ass down. <laughs> That's okay. real black man talking right there. You better you believe that. I'm going to lay you down. You are? Yeah. So, you ain't just stay, just stay where you at. You ain't and man enough. It's okay. <laughs> you don't got to think I'm man <laughs> enough, my baby. Shit. Yeah, that's why you walked away a little bitch, cause it's gonna be you ain't like man enough. You scared the black man, motherfucker. That. This is I am a famous YouTuber. Um, this is actually his establishment. So anybody, y'all, y'all all know I just moved to Arizona. That's his place of business where he was fired from. So you just got fired. Anybody that, that Asian come guy. To this establishment, y'all know what it is. This dude was about his shit. He said exactly how he felt. He said he was a racist. He admitted it. He called the guy N-word, you heard it here, not my words, those are his words, of course this is fair use like I said, this motherfucker showed who the fuck he was right then and there, also showed how much of a coward he was because when the black man was flexing on his ass, basically barking at him telling him to get the fuck back or you get dropped, he got back, he gonna tell the black man he ain't man enough, but I seen his little punk ass walking away. If he really thought the black man was a man, he would have stood his ground right there where that black man was talking to him, and he wouldn't have flinched, he wouldn't have walked away, he would have stood the fuck there, but like a little bitch, like most of these racists are, he walked away, and now he lost his fucking job. So, I'm tired of, you know, them putting out this narrative, and I don't hate anybody, because I like, I like my little, you know, martial arts movies, my little, you know, anime shit, but... I'm not going to be blind to the fact that there are racist motherfuckers in every goddamn nationality. And these people make money off of black people from the hair salons to the fucking Chinese restaurants. And they treat you like shit. This is what, not all of them, but there are many that feel just like this fucking man right here feels. And it's really sad that we live in a world like this, but we have to stop being naive and believing that we don't live in a world like this because it's just not true. He was real about his shit. He told you he don't like you because you're black. Called you the N-word. No, that is the most disgusting word to call a black person. And if we and if the black guy would have called him, I can't even say the fucking word, but it starts with a C. You know what they call Chinese, okay? Then he would have had a fucking hissy fit, okay? But that black man handled the situation the right way. He told old boy, I'm a film and you ain't going to do shit about it. Okay, he told him what time it was. This motherfucker look evil as fuck. Look at my eyes. Look, look, look at him. He like demonic eyes he got, man. But this dude stood his ground, told this motherfucker all, told him to stay the fuck back or he getting dropped. I like that shit. 
Because we ain't playing out here no more. Racism is going to stop and we're going to put an end to it one way or the other. And if it doesn't stop, the motherfuckers who's practicing it going to have a hard fucking time trying to walk after they talk out their fucking mouth left side. 